cultural fascination with superheroes is really based upon uh, social climate. Basically, since 9-11, you've seen an explosion of the superhero culture. It's wish fulfillment in the sense of social justice. In other words, superheroes can fix everything. They can do everything. Champions actually came from uh, a paper and pencil RPG that was released in 1981. So the thing that's awesome about that is we actually have uh, about 28 years worth of characters and places, villains, heroes, and lore, and actually game mechanics that have vetted through hundreds of thousands, if not millions of players, to base Champions Online from. And with Champions Online, we've really pushed the limits. A lot more visceral, a lot more explosions, a lot more punching, and just ripped right out of a comic book's pages. For people that have played the pen and paper game, I think they're going to see some core similarities between that and Champions Online. They're going to recognize certain characters, even though we've really updated them for the new millennium. They're going to recognize places. They're going to recognize lore. We've been very true to that. The level of depth and complexity that you want to be able to open up to players is paramount. We really, really need to make sure that people have this incredible experience where they can sit there and really craft a superhero who's iconic. We know that people want to be able to fly into the middle of Millennium City with their hero and have other players look up and go, oh wow, you know, that guy looks incredible, there he is, I can't believe it. And you're showing off your powers and effects, the look of your character, uh, and, and that's something that we really, really give you all the tools for in the character creation system. That's one of the elements that was really difficult to try and translate in, and, and we really, really kind of decided, it's like, well, we could have our power designers focus on the cool, you know, the cool elements that most people can recognize as, as, okay, this is typical superhero powers that people want to play. Let's build those ahead of time so people don't have to waste like tons of time doing it. Doesn't mean that there isn't, isn't customization in a lot of our powers in the game. We have people in the development team that care a lot about the storyline, that care a lot about how we convey things like emotions uh, in the story across the players. Um, we actually have a comic writer who's on staff, John Lehman, who is actually out there in the real world making comics all the time. For me, the bad guys are always more fun to write than the, than the good guys. I mean, that, that's sort of a given. Uh, they're just, they're, they're more interesting, they bring more drama. We decided that we were going to show a range of environments. Millennium City, which is this fantastic city of the future. There's also the desert. We also have places where you go underwater and you're in Canada. You know, the, the frosty wastes of the Great White North. We wanted to make it feel like an action comic book, so you have a lot more active movement, um, players moving around, reacting to, to villains of the game, etc. Very much action, you know, Biff, Biff Pow type, type of comic book feeling. 